what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I've got the thrilling 30 jet fire. I've got the siege jet fire. We're going to be talking about a special kind of jet fire. This is the newly revealed Transformers Masterpiece MP57. This is Skyfire, which for those who don't know, Skyfire was the original name for Jetfire, but due to copyright reasons later on in the years, his name was changed to Jetfire. And I gotta say, I personally prefer Jetfire, but for the sake of this and the context of the cartoon, I have no problem calling this one Skyfire. So this is the Masterpiece version of him, and much like some of the other Masterpieces around it, he's very much like the cartoon, so you will see some defined lines and features that are a little more cleaned up compared to some of the other versions of Jetfire. Fire, like the siege design has a lot of greepling to it. When you compare it to this, it's very flat, and that does necessarily make sense, but the alt modes obviously are very similar because this is going for a cartoon look, and then this was also going for a cartoon look. A lot of other jet fires that was going for a more generation one or classic design kind of messed around with it because they wanted to go the cartoon route, but they also wanted to go the original toy route because. When you look at the cartoon design, there are similarities, but there are some very obvious differences. So, like the classics Jetfire, they tried to do different things with that, and I understand what they were going for, but I'm glad that they're going for the cartoon look because it fills in with that masterpiece line. And I'm also going to say that I do feel it's maybe a little late for Jetfire. I'm not saying that nobody will buy it, especially an official Masterpiece Jetfire, but there's third-party versions of it, multiple different third-party versions. And then there's also the Siege one, which I don't really hear too many complaints about, so... I don't know, maybe it's a little late for this, but I'm still happy that they're doing it. And as you can see, the Jet Mode mostly looks like the robot is just kind of crumpled up in the bag, but that's kind of common with this. You do see the cockpit, and I like how it's very flat and triangle-shaped, I guess. Uh, very sharp-looking, but still has a stopping point with that kind of intake-looking design. I, I like that. Uh, the blue transparency on the cockpit, and then that little windshield at the top there, that looks pretty good. And then the red jet pack looks nice, and you can see the wings are attached by that. And I'm going to guess and say that the wings are going to be movable, because you can see in some of the later images, they're pointed down. And then here they're pointed up, but I'm not sure if there's a joint that will shift that or if there's a joint that will rotate that completely. Also, you get some blast effects, and yes, you will get this stand piece that has this rail so you can adjust it. As well, you can see some of the platforms. Now, this is very similar to the ones that come with the Beast Wars figures, but it seems to be in metallic orange, I'm guessing as a reference to the arc design. And uh, I think that's a nice touch, and he looks pretty good in flight. So, taking a look at this other mode, a lot of these Jet Transformers, especially the original Skyfire and Jetfire, had this kind of Gerwalk mode. It was very common for that, so they decided to show it off here. Pretty much all you do is you take the legs and you spread them out for the robot mode, and you leave everything else in the jet mode, and it also comes with miniature figures to add onto it. You've got a miniature, I believe that's Wheeljack, you get a miniature Jazz, and you get a miniature Optimus Prime, which some people thought that one of these was going to be Hound, but that doesn't seem to be the case. And I'm guessing they have some articulation because you see some of the later photos and they're very flat, but this, they're very expressive. Also, you have these ramps that stick out from the legs. I thought that was kind of cool. And yeah, I I'm happy about this. You know, just a thought. I, wa I wanted to break this in, but um, it's kind of funny that I think it was last year we heard that there was a prototype for Jetfire and there were multiple rumors and then just nothing. And then all of a sudden we got a teaser, we got a leak, and then now all of a sudden we've got official images. It's kind of crazy how that works. But anyways, moving on, we also have the accessories, so you get the flight stand like we talked about before, we get the flare effects, we get the gun, and then you also have multiple faces, so you got the different expressions, as well you get the battle mask, that's a reference to the original toy, the Siege design also did that, this design also did that, Classics did that, uh, so it's a very similar way in that sense. We also have this flat panel, which I'm going to talk about later, a Decepticon logo in reference to his introduction in Generation 1. You can see the miniatures, and yeah, Optimus Prime's arm isn't up, and Jazz doesn't seem to be in a sitting pose, so if I were to guess, these miniatures have some sort of articulation to them. And then you also have this clamp thing, maybe someone can correct me on that, I'm not entirely sure what that is. If I were to guess, maybe some flight stand support thing, but it's just there, I didn't really see anything that explained it, maybe I missed something. 
But there is Jetfire in mostly the robot mode. This is more of the battle mode with the mask. And then, like I said, the wings can be pointed down. I am seeing a joint, but I'm not sure if that necessarily means that's exactly how they're doing that. But you could also see the Autobot symbol on the chest. That can be swapped out for a clean look. Or he can hold the Autobot symbol and Decepticon symbol as he's deciding which one to choose from. And he can stick that on his chest, which is a nice nod to the original. I also like the breakup in the jetpack. You can see that the middle section will be able to fold down in some sort of way. I thought that was kind of clever. And also taking a look at the articulation itself. So it seems like he'll have some sort of movement in the hand because you will be able to stick those plaques into it. So that's cool. And he's also a decent size too. I didn't grab the image, but compared to Optimus, Ironhide, and some of the others, he's, he's a pretty decent size, which is good. He should be a big figure. I do like the gun. I will say that just looking at this figure, it would be nice to have bigger guns, but I do understand why it's not. And I think the colors are pretty right, you know, white, red, and a little touch of blue, of course. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. He's got some decent knee articulation. I'm seeing double joints in the knee. And from what we saw in the Gurwak mode, he seems to have some decent foot articulation as well. And then there he is, just cleaned up, just Jetfire himself, trying to decide what faction to choose from. And I do like the certain angles of this Jetfire. You can see that the chest kind of narrows down, uh, or or kind of curves down from the top. So I think I thought that was pretty clever. I even like how at the top of the lower legs it kind of spreads out like that. It just feels like something that came out of a cartoon, but also kind of feels a little natural in that sense. Like, things have to shift around for him to be able to move around. And uh, you could also see that the jetpack seems to collapse in on itself to form this smaller version of it. Like, it condenses. So, I'm curious to see exactly how that works, but... Um, yeah, he's a pretty decent looking figure. It does look like the wings will fold up even just a little bit, but... Um, yeah, I'm very happy with how he turned out. Now, am I going to get it? I have Siege Jetfire. Pretty much that fills my void. I don't need a massive Jetfire, but I gotta say he does look pretty cool. I feel like he's gonna be a little expensive though, given the fact that, yeah, it's a masterpiece and he's tall, so... Uh, but, um, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. He does look pretty good. So, with that out of the way, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads, and I will see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just prime.